विद्यार्थियों ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਬਾਰੇ ਪੜਾਂਗੇ ਪਿਛਲੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਅਸ ਚੇਂਜ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਐਨ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਵਸਤੂ ਦੇ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਦੋ ਤਰੀਕਿਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਦਰਸਾਇਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਜੋ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਪੁਆਇੰਟਸ ਤੇ ਨਿਰਭਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਡਿਸਪਲੇਸਮੈਂਟ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਦੂਜਾ ਜੋ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ 올 ਪੁਆਇੰਟਸ ਤੇ ਡਿਪੈਂਡ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਡਿਸਟੈਂਸ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਜਦੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਵਸਤੂ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਲਾਈਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਚਲਦੀ ਹੋਈ ਕੋਈ ਸਮਾਨ ਸਮੇਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਮਾਨ ਦੂਰੀ ਤੈਅ ਕਰੇ ਤਾਂ ਉਸ ਵਸਤੂ ਦਾ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਦਕਿ ਜਦੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਵਸਤੂ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਲਾਈਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਚਲਦੀ ਹੋਈ समान समय ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸਮਾਨ ਦੂਰੀ ਤੈਅ ਕਰੇ ਤਾਂ ਉਸ ਵਸਤੂ ਦਾ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਨਾਨ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਹਾਲਾਂਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਪੀਡ ਅਤੇ ਵੈਲੋਸਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਬਿਆਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਪਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਵਹੀਕਲ ਸੜਕ ਤੇ ਚਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਕਦੇ ਵੀ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਵੈਲੋਸਿਟੀ randomly increase at a decrease hundi rehndi hai when the velocity of the vehicle on the road keeps on changing then the motion is said to be accelerated motion or a non uniform motion aaj di is class vich asi kise motion nu distance time graph ya position time graph nal darsona sikhange asi eh vi janange ਕਿ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਸਪੀਡ ਟਾਈਮ ਗ੍ਰਾਫ ਜਾਂ ਵੈਲੋਸਿਟੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਗ੍ਰਾਫ ਨਾਲ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸ਼ੋ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਵੇਰੀਅਸ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਆਫ ਗ੍ਰਾਫਸ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਟੂ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਦ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਟੂ ਕੈਲਕੂਲੇਟ ਦ ਐਕਸੀਲਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਵੈਲੋਸਿਟੀ ਔਰ ਸਪੀਡ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਸਟੈਂਸ ਟਰੈਵਲਡ ਬਾਈ ਐਨ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਫਰਸਟ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਟਾਈਮ ਗ੍ਰਾਫਸ and then the velocity time graphs while drawing the graphs based on motion time is always taken along the x axis whereas the position or velocity is taken along the y axis let us have an idea of the distance time graph here you are observing a truck moving along a straight line path with constant velocity we have measured the distance covered by the truck in each unit interval of time now if we draw a distance time graph it is a straight line with some slope in this graph slope or the direction of tangent of the graph is constant at every point of the motion therefore this graph represents a uniform motion slope of the graph is equal to the time rate of distance traveled which represents the speed or the velocity of the motion here you can note that since the motion is a straight line motion therefore we can use speed or velocity in the same sense in our next case the truck is moving uniformly and then stops for a while when we draw a distance time graph it shows a straight line with a constant slope and the line becomes parallel to x axis for the duration during which the truck is at rest but when we draw a curve on a distance time graph you can observe that at every point the direction of tangent is varying hence such type of graph represents a non uniform motion we know that the difference between initial and final position represents displacement which is a vector quantity or direction plays an important role in the measurement of displacement if the motion of an object is along a straight line and in one direction only 
then the distance time graph gives us some details of the motion. But if the motion is not in one direction, then the distance time graph could not give us as much details as we can get from a position time graph. For the better analysis of motion, it is important to represent the motion on position time graph. Here you are observing a car moving uniformly along a straight line path after covering a distance of 10 kilometers. The car returns back to its initial position. When we draw a distance time graph, it shows a straight line graph and the total distance travelled is 20 kilometers. When we draw a position time graph during its motion in forward direction, it shows a straight line graph with positive slope. During its motion in the reversed direction, it again shows a straight line graph but with negative slope. Position time graph tells us that the total distance covered is 20 kilometers, but the displacement is zero as the car returns to its initial position. For better understanding, let us analyze some position time graphs. A ek position time graph hai. is the slope between any two positions of the graph, this is zero. Hai. A graph vastu de rest the avasthanu show karta hai. A ek position time graph hai, just the slope between any two positions of the graph positive hai. A graph vastu de uniform motion the avasthanu show karta hai, just which vastu positive direction which चल रही है। A एक position time graph है। Is the slope between any two positions of the graph negative है? A graph वस्तु दे uniform motion दी अवस्था नो show करता है, जिस विच वस्तु negative direction जहाँ reverse direction विच चल रही है। It is a position time graph. It shows a curve. Its slope is a variable. This graph shows that the object is under non-uniform motion and moving in positive direction as the slope is positive. This is a position time graph. It shows a curve. Its slope is also variable. This graph shows that the object is under non-uniform motion and moving in negative direction as the slope is negative. These are position time graphs. In both the graphs, slopes of the curve are also variable which shows that the object is under non-uniform motion. Here, positive slope shows the motion in positive direction. When the slope is zero, the object is at rest and the negative slope shows the motion in negative direction. In all of these position time graphs, position at time t equal to zero shows the initial position of the object and at any instant we can find the corresponding position of the object. The slope between any two points gives us the average velocity during that interval of time, whereas the slope of the tangent at any instant gives the instantaneous velocity. In this position time graph, V1 average is the average velocity between time T1 and T2 and V2 average is the average velocity between time T2 and T3, whereas tangent at instant T1 gives the instantaneous velocity V1, tangent at instant T2 
gives the instantaneous velocity v2 and tangent at instant t3 gives the instantaneous velocity v3. You can clearly see that the average velocity and instantaneous velocity are not same. But if the position is varying linearly, both average and instantaneous velocities will be the same. All these graphs show that basically we can have three types of position time graphs. One when the object is at rest and the second type is when the motion is uniform. That is the velocity of the object is constant but there is no acceleration and the third one is when the motion is non-uniform or in other words the velocity of the object is not constant and there is some acceleration. Position time graph can be used to compare two or more motions. Let's see such type of comparison in this example. Here, two cars are moving with different velocities. When we draw the position time graphs, the slope of blue car is greater than the slope of the yellow car. That is, the speed of the blue car is greater than the speed of the yellow car. Both the cars are moving in same direction with non-uniform speeds. With the help of position time graph, we cannot find the acceleration. We cannot analyze whether the motion is a uniformly accelerated motion or a non-uniformly accelerated motion. For the study of an accelerated motion, we have to study the velocity time graphs. Similar to position time graphs, we can have three types of velocity time graphs. One is when the velocity of the object is uniform and there is no acceleration. Second type is when the motion is non-uniform and the velocity of the object changes at a constant rate. That is, the acceleration of the object is constant. And the third one is when the motion is non-uniform and the velocity of the object changes in a non-uniform way. That is, the acceleration of the object is not constant. Before discussing all three types of velocity time graphs, first of all, let us analyze the velocity time graph for uniform motion. Here, you are observing a car moving uniformly along a straight line path. The velocity time graph for this type of motion is a straight line graph, which is parallel to x-axis. Then, the velocity of the car is constant. And, since the slope of the graph is zero, the acceleration is also zero. One of the important outcomes of velocity time graph is that we can measure the distance travelled and the displacement of the object. Here, the area enclosed by VT curve and the time axis gives us the distance travelled. Since the motion is in one direction only, the area enclosed by the VT curve and the time axis also gives us the displacement. The next case is when the car is moving non-uniformly but with a constant acceleration. The velocity time graph for this type of motion is also a straight line graph which has an inclination with the time axis. This shows the velocity of the car is increasing and since the slope of the graph is positive, the acceleration is also positive. For a comparison, if both the cars are moving one 
with uniform velocity and the second with a non-uniform velocity. In both cases, the VT curves are a straight line. The only difference in these graphs is the slopes of the curve. Ao, vadiya tarike naal samjhan le velocity time graph ta vishleshan karte haan. A ek velocity time graph hai. Is the slope between any two positions of the graph zero hai? A graph show karda hai ke vastu da praveg, pav, acceleration zero hai. Vastu da motion, uniform motion ka honda hai. Jado koi vastu variable velocity naal chal di hai, ta jaan ta usti chal, jaan usti disha, jaan dome hi. समय के नाल बदलते रहते हैं। चाहे वो वस्तु स्ट्रेट लाइन या कर्व्ड पाथ विच चल रही होवे, इस अवस्था विच वस्तु का मोशन वेरिएबल मोशन कहाँदा है। वेरिएबल मोशन विच वस्तु का वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ टाइम एक्सिस ते पैरेलल नहीं होता, पर वेरिएबल मोशन विच पोजीशन टाइम ग्राफ कदेवी स्ट्रेट लाइन नहीं होता। ए एक वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ है। इस ता स्लोप बिटवीन एनी टू पॉइंट्स ऑफ़ द ग्राफ पॉजिटिव है। ए ग्राफ वस्तु दे यूनिफॉर्मली एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन दी अवस्था नो शो करता है, जिस विच वस्तु दा एक्सेलरेशन पॉजिटिव होता है। ए एक वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ है। is the slope between any two positions of the graph negative hai? A graph was to the uniformly retarded motion the avastha no show karta hai. Jis which was to the acceleration negative hunta hai. Is negative acceleration no deacceleration or retardation we can de han? This is a velocity time graph. It shows a curve. Its slope is variable. This graph shows that the object is under non-uniform acceleration motion, having positive acceleration as the slope is positive. This is a velocity time graph. It shows a curve. Its slope is variable. This graph shows that the object is under non-uniform acceleration motion, having negative acceleration as the slope is negative. These are velocity time graphs. In both the graphs, slopes of the curves are also variable, which shows that the object is under non-uniform acceleration motion. Here, the positive slope shows that the acceleration is positive. When the slope is zero, the object is moving under uniform velocity. And the negative slope shows that the acceleration is negative. In all of these velocity time graphs, velocity at time t equal to zero shows the initial velocity of the object, whereas velocity at any instant tells the instantaneous velocity of the object and the slope of the curve between any two points gives us the average acceleration during that interval. If we measure the slope of the tangent at any instant, that gives instantaneous acceleration. In this velocity time graph, A1 average is the average acceleration between time T1 and T2 and A2 average is the average acceleration between time T2 and T3, whereas tangent at instant T1 gives the instantaneous acceleration. A1 tangent at instant T2 gives the instantaneous acceleration A2 and tangent at instant T3 gives the instantaneous acceleration A3. 
you can clearly see that the average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration are not the same. But if the velocity is varying linearly, both the average and instantaneous accelerations will be the same. It is to be noted that when acceleration is constant, we have a straight line Vt graph that is velocity varies linearly with time. As a result, the average velocity is simply the average of initial and final velocities. Vt curve for a non-uniform acceleration is not a linear. In such types of cases, the average velocity is no longer the midway between the initial and final velocities. Area enclosed by the Vt curve and the time axis gives us the displacement or the distance travelled by the object. Let us see an example. Here, a car driver starts from rest and moves with a constant acceleration and achieve a speed of 60 km per hour in 4 minutes. Then, he moves for next 3 minutes with uniform velocity and finally applies brakes and stop in next 3 minutes. After this, the car driver decides to return back and again he moves with a constant acceleration and achieve a speed of 60 km per hour in 3 minutes. And then he applies the brakes and stop after 4 minutes. If we analyze the velocity time graph for this motion, we can measure the distance travelled and the displacements from the graph. As the distance travelled is the area enclosed by the Vt curve and the time axis and the distance is the total length of the path. While moving in forward direction, he covers a distance of 6.5 kilometers, whereas moving in reverse direction, he covers a distance of 3.5 kilometers. The total distance covered by him is 10 kilometers. But when we measure the displacement, it comes out to be 3 kilometers as the distance covered in reverse motion is negative. I hope that you have position time and velocity time graphs. This is the way we can make an acceleration time graph. When the object of acceleration is uniform, we can make the time axis parallel straight line graph खिचते हां। जदों कोई object variable acceleration दे नाल move करदा है, ता इस ते motion दा magnitude जा direction दोवे ही समय नाल बदल दे हां। ता इस motion नू variable acceleration motion के हा जांदा है। अजहे cases विच acceleration time graph straight line विच हो वी सकता है या नहीं भी। पर ए टाइम एक्सिस ते पैरेलल नहीं होएगा। Let us analyze a position time graph and draw the corresponding velocity time graph as well as acceleration time graph. In this position time graph, first object moves with decreasing velocity, with uniform retardation, then remains at rest for a while so that its velocity and acceleration remains zero. Then the object returns back with uniform velocity so that its acceleration remains zero and slow down in such a way that the acceleration becomes uniform. Again remain at rest for a while and then again return back and start moving in positive direction with increasing velocity 
and uniform acceleration and comes to its initial position. The object continues to move up to a certain position with a uniform retardation and return back to its initial position with the same uniform retardation. मैनू उम्मीद है कि ग्राफ की सहायता नाल किसे भी वस्तु दे मोशन नो किस तरह दर्शाया जाता है ए थानू चंगी तरह समझ आ गया होगा आओ हूँ अज के पाठ का सार वेखिए इन अ पोजिशन टाइम ग्राफ पोजिशन एट टाइम टी इक्वल टू जीरो शोज द इनिशियल पोजिशन ऑफ द ऑबजेक्ट The slope between any two points gives us the average velocity during that interval of time whereas the slope of the tangent at any instant gives the instantaneous velocity with the help of position time graph we can not find the acceleration we can not analyze whether the motion is a uniformly accelerated motion or a non uniformly accelerated motion in velocity time graphs velocity at time t equal to 0 shows the initial velocity of the object whereas velocity at any instant tells the instantaneous velocity of the object and the slope of the curve between any two points gives us the average acceleration during that interval whereas the slope of the tangent at any instant gives instantaneous acceleration it is to be noted that when acceleration is constant we have a straight line vt graph that is velocity varies linearly with time as a result the average velocity is simply the average of initial and final velocities vt curve for a non uniform acceleration is not a linear in such types of cases the average velocity is no longer the midway between the initial and final velocities area enclosed by the vt curve and the time axis gives us the displacement or the distance traveled by the object position time graph at a velocity time graph di tarah assi kise vastu de motion no acceleration time graph nal vi show kar sakte ha hun assi aaj de part de ant te pahunch gaye ha itthe kujh prashn puch ke eh pata karde ha ke tuhanu aaj da eh part kinna ko samajh aaya hai The first question is in this position time graph what is the initial position of the object the answer is initial position is 0 the next question is what is the average velocity during the first 10 seconds the answer is it is 6 meter per second Another question what is the average velocity during 15 to 35 seconds well the answer here is it is minus 4 meter per second there's yet another question can you tell about the acceleration the answer is since the graph shows either the object is at rest or moving uniformly hence its acceleration is always zero another question in this velocity time graph what is the velocity of the object at 20 seconds the answer is it is 20 meter per second next question is what is the average acceleration during the first 10 seconds answer is it is 1 meter per second square another question 
what is the average acceleration during 20 to 30 seconds? The answer here is 0. Next question, what type of motion is it during 40 to 50 seconds? The answer is, it is uniformly deacceleration motion. Next question, what is the distance traveled during first 20 seconds? The answer is, it is 200 meter. Menu ummeed hai ki tusi aaj dae paat changi tarah samaj lea hai. Agli class vich, fir milangi.